working on over here. <laughs> we don't. Are we you doing a video? Yeah. Hey, so, okay. today is the day we're doing. How many songs are today? Paul's gonna embarrass us. Hey, we need to do a real <laughs> video for the guy girls. It's okay. A video. Yes. Okay. So here we go. A video. Get Jamie. Jamie, you gotta be in Attention. the video though. What up? <laughs> Look at Paul. Now you hold it. Oh, is this then, live? Yeah. yeah. All right, Jamie, get in here. Tell your daddy. Um, Hi, we dad are girls. Live here <laughs> from Nashville's own personal studio in S E. What is this called? S A E. S A E. We are up, so dog? thrilled to be here tonight. We're with honored. Paul. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. <laughs> we miss you, girls. We wish you were all here. We love you. One day. Someday. Very soon. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Happy holidays from me to you. What's up? My name is Paul, the fifth of Legacy Studios Nash. Now, this video is a super special one to me. The artist that we're featuring today, her name is Tammy Timbarge. We have been friends since the third grade. That is most of my entire life. Now, when I was a student at SAE Institute, as I said in some of the previous series, part of our thing was to bring in artists to come in to record. Tammy grew up with me in Evansville, Indiana. She and some friends came down to Nashville to record the song. It is titled Build Your Dreams. I'm gonna go ahead and play some snippets of the OG session recording this and then I'll remix this to show you how we can take things from here to here. If you're ready, let's go. go, go. Okay, friend. All right, let's do this. Oh, here we go. I'm recording you on video in here too, so. Oh, great. Paul, is your middle name Joseph? No, it's not. I almost called you Paul Joseph for that. I don't know why. That's okay. Well, you asked her to video. It's not any different. I think so, yeah. You'll hear me. This will be a boring video. All right. What do you say? I said you're asking her to video. It's not any different than in here. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's do this. Here is the OG session. This was recorded just a hair over four years ago, December 15th of 2017. When I was a student at SAE Institute, it was part of our job to find musicians and bands to come in to record. Like I said earlier in the video, I have known Tammy since the third grade, so most of our lives. We performed together in elementary school, middle school, and high school bands. After high school, we remained friends via high school reunions and other things. And then in our adult years from 2010 to 2014, we led worship together in various worship bands at our church, One Life Network. Tammy is a super passionate individual when it comes to everything she does. She's a fantastic mother. She's a great wife. She loves her kids and her husband, Chris. She is passionate about her job and she loves the Lord. So thinking about Tammy, I knew she had a lot of music prep that she wanted to get out of her mind and on her heart onto a recording. So I called her up and I said, hey, if you've got any music that you want to put down, now is the time to do it because it is completely free for you. After some conversations, we found a date, we made things happen. Here is the session. Let me show it to you. It is rather simple. Please do not undermine this. So this session consists of keys. She brought a MIDI keyboard. We plugged that into the computer. We used some passes from Logic and Mainstage. And then she sang into a U87. And we also tracked things with a 4033. Let's play a snippet of Build Your Dreams. All 
right, cool. So just listening to that little snippet of the song, I've already got my mind the direction that I want to go for this mix. On the keys, I'm noticing some high registering frequencies that are bothering me a lot. I want to bring out that low end. I want to pan things out. We're going to add some reverb and we've got to make her vocal sit front and center above everything else. So let's take a look at these keys. Command plus equals takes us from one screen to the next. Let's make this bigger for my old eyes. Let's pan things out. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you might know or remember that when I do my panning, I like to do things in odd intervals. For some reason, it's something that I've just found that I like, it works for me, and there are no real rules when it comes to this. In the end, are you happy with the mix? Is your client happy with the mix? If so, cool, keep doing what you're doing. Let's solo these and add some EQ. My goal for this mix is to have everything well-rounded, maybe add a little analog flavor since this was recorded on an analog console. Let's listen. Let's go to my favorite EQ, Fab and Filter Pro Q3. We're going to roll all of this off. We'll go to low cut. We'll do a little boost on this low end, make it a wide boost, capture some of those lower registers right here. Not liking that. Notice how that sounds like a little mosquito buzzing in your ear during the summertime. We're gonna pull that out. That's just very harsh and nasty. Let's tame that. Good starting point, and then we'll add a little high shelf up here. All right, let's bypass this. Engaged. Do you notice how that sounds a lot tighter, a lot more controlled, a lot more smoothed out? Command S out to save. Option click this over. And then on our piano bus, we'll do the same thing. We'll go to Fab Filter Pro Q3. However, this time I'm just gonna low cut this and then we'll add some analog flavor to this here. We'll go to EQ, and then we'll go down here to SSO 9000J series. So that console that you saw in the very beginning of the video with Tammy sitting at it, that was Whitney Houston's SSL J9000. We got that from her estate after she passed almost 10 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. RIP Whitney. So let's take a look at a preset here. Let's go to Pianos, eighth note shimmer two. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Let's just say that those are uh, for ornaments on your Christmas tree this time of year. Piano low driving notes. I think we'll go with that because I really wanted to bring out those lower register notes on that piano. Okay, let's pull this gain down. and then we'll make a couple of adjustments here in a minute. And one thing I want to do to add some analog flavor is a tape machine. So we'll come down here, go to search, type in virtual tape machines. All right. One other thing we can do on these keys is add some reverb to make things a little more spacious. We can do this in two different ways. We can add a reverb to the bus, or we can add another bus and send the channel right here to this key's effects. Let's go to multi-channel plugin, reverb, and then we'll go down here to lustrous plates. This is a slate plugin, and this is a chrome plate, but let's do silver, steel, rhodium. No, so what we'll have to do is this here, we've got this on bus five and six, we'll have to send this over. So we go to bus five and six, option click. That might be a little too much, let's see. There's a 
nice little tale. Yeah, I'm liking that. Cool, so let's listen to Tammy's vocals. Here we go. This was the one on the U87. Select a snippet of her vocal. You will this not run We'll go to Pro Q3. There are definitely some higher frequencies that are bothering the ear here. We'll roll all this out. Low cut. Yeah, right here. Take my wrongs and make them nasal effect let's just do a little boost here on the low end and then right here i'm actually going to take those highs and just cut all that out so high cut not that much but we'll do like a pretty steep like 24 right there eq bypassed It just sounds dry. Let's add the EQ back in. It overwhelms and satisfies. There's still some harshness up there, but it's a lot tighter. But I do believe that'll sit really well in the mix here. Let's take a listen to her vocal on the 4033. So this is interesting. There's a lot of keys in there. She might have been playing keys when this was tracked i don't remember since this was four years ago and her vocal sounds way back in the mix so let's do this pull that up in the mix and uh pull that pro q3 over all right and let's do this on the vocal we'll do an eq but this time let's go to Another SSL J9000, a little for a vocal one that's really smooth. Let's see. Vocal female clear. Take my wrongs and make them right. Hold that down a little bit. decent starting point on the box here we've got box effects let's add some verb to this too to make it kind of a little more spacious and presence on our box effects if we go up here to an insert multi-channel plug-in and reverb we've already used lustrous plate so let's go to neo verb this is a really cool one it's from isotope let's listen to her snippet here you will does not run dry it overwhelms inside Ooh. Yeah, nice little tail. Let's add a little bit of compression to the vocal plus, and then we'll take a look at the master fader here. Let me come up here and search rider and we'll do vocal rider stereo Letting all confusion go. i came across this a few years ago this is a plugin from waves and so what it does is once it's hearing that vocal it is writing right here this fader is automatically adjusting as that vocal or there's some for instruments are actually being played cool I'm happy, Command S. And for our master fader, let's go up here to our first insert. 
and let's search for CLA. And let's go to CLA Mixed Down Stereo. I always like to start with this clear view. And let's add some tape to that. So. There is nothing that's too big for my God. No sin that he can't defeat. There is nothing. And let's add some limiting. Let's go to BX Limiter Stereo. that and let's listen to this from the uh, beginning frequencies that so that's how we take a singer songwriter project with keys and vocals 
we take out those harsh frequencies, we boost what is needed, we made things well rounded with the VTM, and we added a little limiting to bring up the volume. So simple moves, small moves make a big difference. This song here, thank you for writing that some time ago, Tammy, because I needed to hear that right now. Let me tell you something, guys. The whole reason I had to cut my hair is I got this big knot on the back of my head. It's approximately this big here. It's grown and grown and grown. It's hurting, it's causing some pain. I'm having vision issues. Now I have to really not even wear my glasses because the frames are affecting and putting pressure on the back of my neck. So I'm gonna have to go and get some contacts. But anyways, that's what's going on with me. And that's how we elevate a singer-songwriter mix from here to here by using some small moves. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching today. I appreciate it. Happy holidays. If you like today's content, sure would appreciate those thumbs up, comments, all that great stuff. Think about smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more content like this. All right, guys, my name is Paul, the fifth of Legacy Studios. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.